Hello guys, it's Alex from Vest. Hey, welcome to your 36 basic Python tutorial. In the last tutorial, I talked about how to create buttons and um, as well as labels and putting that into a grid, creating a frame and putting everything into a grid and actually having everything show up. In this tutorial, I want to go and incorporate what we learned with uh, object-oriented programming and using a class to create a GUI and it's going to be basically the same exact thing as this only it's going to be formatted in object oriented style I should say. So I'm going to open a new window here and what we want to do is I'll just say demonstrates how to use a use a class with Tinker. And one thing for sh sure is that you still need to use uh, Tinker. So you need to do from Tinker import the start thing. And that imports every uh, everything that we need in order for this to actually work. And start obviously just means everything from Tinker. And we talked about that previously before. Now I want to create a class and we know the class header is how we do that so we would need a class and call it application and pass in the press and frame not a object because we are working with a GUI and that's a bit different and doc string I'll just say a GUI application with three buttons same thing as uh, last time and we want a constructor method so same thing for that I initialization thing thing right here INIT have the two underscores and then pass in we want self and then a master now uh, master you may it may seem weird but make sure you have that and then what you want to do is or oh, this initializes initialize the frame but then you want frame dot then you want to initialize the frame for it and then you need the self master for that as well and then put that onto the grid obviously and then you want to have create widgets which is going to be a method that we're going to be creating okay once we have that then we're going to create the widgets that we have here. So create widgets, pass in self. And what this is going to do is create the three buttons that do nothing. Yeah, I know it's pretty boring right now, but we're eventually going to get buttons to do actually do something. And then uh, create the first button. And to do that, button one is equal to still have to have still have to have button spell like that, or else you know it's not gonna work. And then text this is the first button. All right, now let's create the second button. Self dot button two equals button self self button 2 got put down oh and I actually forgot to put uh, this onto the grid you never want to forget that because then it's not going to show up alright put that onto the grid that's not going to say anything for now but once we use the configure method that is how we can get text this will show up text alright now let's create the third button and uh, you can tell it's very similar to what we did before uh, not really anything new just uh, incorporating object oriented programming sort of into it and uh, put in text and then uh, this will also show text or something like that then after that we actually have to get the root so root equals tk we gotta make sure to have that because if you don't it's not gonna show up at all 
uh, lazy buttons or something. Uh, root. To make the geometry or the size, I would recommend 200 by 85 or something that should work. Hey, Mamba, this is width, this is height, and it's separated by a X, and this is in a string. Don't forget about that. And you got also for app, post application root, and then once you have that, root dot main loop to actually make this whole thing work. Save this. I'm gonna save it as uh lazy buttons dot py. Run it, and you can see this is exactly what ha we had in the last tutorial. Button one, button two, button three. Same thing as what we had last tutorial with this. It's basically the same thing, but I'm showing you how to use it with a class. And that's basically it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to do something with those buttons and actually make something happen because right now nothing is going on with buttons. And you might be like, okay, what are we doing right now? Because buttons, why, why do I need buttons if you can't do anything with them? Well, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in the next tutorial. Be sure to check that out.